Okay, so we are driving the new 2024 GMC Hummer EV SUV. Now this is the three motor model. They do have a new two motor model, but this is the, the, the big daddy three motor, 830 plus horsepower, zero to 60 in 3.5 seconds and over 300 miles of range, has a massive battery pack. So you've got to really plan that into your recharging regime. It's a good idea to have uh, at least a level two charger at your home and probably one at your work too. But we are driving through beautiful Moab and we're gonna go spend some time with this vehicle on the road. I uh, just check and see the refinements. I've spent a lot of time driving these Hummers, uh, but they were all very early models. So it's nice to see what's now the 2024 model. It's got some miles under its belt and some improvements. So I'm just gonna see how all those updates uh, to refresh the model uh, has translated into making this kind of the uh, ultimate EV overland wonder. One of the cool things about being in Moab is you can go any direction and see just some incredible scenery. We're heading down the 128, uh, which goes between I-70 and Moab, and it goes along the Colorado River, and it is, it's beautiful. It's just literally one of the most beautiful roads in the country, and to do it in a vehicle like this that has glass in every direction. so. There's cliffs above us, big sandstone spires, and we're able to see it in any one direction. And I'm noticing driving the vehicle, the noise vi vibration and harshness is very low. The only thing that you notice is the tires. Um, and there are multiple tire options available for this vehicle. So if you're driving it kind of every day, you can go with more of a street bias tread, but then if you wanted to go and do more off pavement travel, like we're gonna be doing for the next couple days, then you can go with the 18 inch wheels and the 35 or even 37 inch diameter all terrains. But the vehicle on the whole is very quiet and comfortable. It's a massive, spacious interior, good HVAC. It's really easy to get access to all of the functionality of the vehicle. It's easy to access the locker buttons. It's really easy to interface with, looks like about a 25 foot wide screen there in the dash, but it's a massive screen. One of the biggest screens in the industry, very easy to touch screen access to all of those things. Uh, the main driving screen is, is also um, all digital and you can change what it shows you. You can get it into off-road modes or you can really focus on your range and optimize your regen and get a real good sense about how much energy you're using. So like just right now, cruising along at about 50 miles an hour, I'm consuming 25 kilowatts, uh, which is quite a bit more than a Tesla would in the same situation, uh, but not bad given the fact that this vehicle weighs 10,000 pounds. So um, it is a heavy vehicle with a massive battery pack. And if you watch how you drive it and you don't have your right foot in it all the time, you can actually get reasonable uh, energy efficiency out of the vehicle. So there's always a couple things that are noticeable about driving EVs in general and certainly with the Humvee is that all of the weight is down very, very low. So the weight is, the majority of the weight is underneath my feet because that's where the battery pack resides along the frame, along the chassis. So it actually drives really stable at higher speeds through cornering. And the vehicle has a really interesting feature that I have not seen on other EVs, which is what would normally be like a downshift paddle on the steering wheel. And you can use that to initiate essentially maximum regen. So it's almost like a foot brake, but that you can operate right off of the steering wheel. So if you hit it, really slows the vehicle down a lot. So if you're moving through the terrain like we are on the 128, 
game where there's a lot of turns, a lot of twists. You can, right before a turn, you can kind of initiate this max regen and then it uh, slows down the vehicle quite a bit and then it's also putting a lot of energy back into the batteries. Now certainly lift throttle does the same thing, it initiates regen, it just doesn't regen as aggressively. When you lift throttle it feels more like the compression braking that you would get from a, a standard displacement internal combustion engine. But the, uh, the regen lever is kind of like hitting the exhaust brake. Wow, so an awesome day here in the Hummer. And my conclusions are that GMC and Hummer, they really do care about the off-road performance of these vehicles. And the, the, SUV is, the SUV is the most suited for this kind of terrain. It really had an easy time on this 5-6 trail here in Moab. Plenty of ground clearance, lots of traction. Uh, it does the best of any of the EVs at that very low speed or n null speed where you're trying to climb up on a ledge. It definitely does the best job of all of uh, the EVs on the market and climbing in that kind of terrain. And the fact that you have a mechanical front locker, you can activate the rear locking differential. The fact that you can get up to 16 inches of ground clearance with the vehicle, all of those things come together to making it, it truly is a super truck. But I think what a lot of people miss is the fact that this vehicle is also incredibly safe off-road. Uh, and just in general, it's very enjoyable off-road. So it's quiet, and then you have this very low center of gravity. And it's that very low center of gravity that I think a lot of people don't, um, don't fully appreciate when it comes to an EV. So the fact that you have air suspension where you can lower the vehicle on an extreme side slope, plus it also has extremely low center of gravity, uh, that makes for a very safe vehicle. And then it also has the crab walk mode, which um, when it comes to safety, it's one of those things that no other vehicle really has because what you can do is you can turn both axles away from a slide. So let's say you're sliding off the trail, you're starting to come off the trail, you can actually go into crab walk mode and drive the vehicle back up onto the road without that rear end starting to slide, to slide uh, down slope. So when it comes to safety, I think a lot of people don't realize um, how safe these Hummers are on the trail.